Hey guys, it's me Manas and you are watching The Aesthetic Illusion. So today's video is gonna be a tutorial video on how I usually do my digital paintings as you have seen it in my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram account the link which I have given in the description below you can check it. So almost all of the paintings are done in a similar process I usually go through this process this actually consists of a lot of methods but I have broken down those steps into simplified steps so that you can go through on how I usually make those paintings. Almost all of my paintings are done using this method, I can say with that. And you can see through my timeless videos on this channel that I have used those process. So I have made this video in two parts. The first part I'll be demonstrating the steps in a simpler art form that I'll show you like basic in the most basic form how I we can apply and approach those steps and techniques. And afterwards I'll draw a bigger picture which will usually take some time then there will be a time lapse I'll narrate over how I have used those techniques in that painting to complete the artwork so guys without any further delay let's begin first we'll open up photoshop this is the most important thing guys without it so you can use other sort of drawing softwares without the software we can't do anything that's the beginning I'll show you how we can proceed with the digital art now we'll create a new 2000 pixel grid. Now we'll use a layer. The first thing is the rough sketching. How we'll do the sketching? I usually use the blue color, blue color for the sketching part. And you can use any brush you like. I usually use the soft round or the hard round brush. Now let's sketch in it. Nice. So first we have drawn a cube, that is a pretty bad looking cube right now. So this is the first step, we will figure out the sketch that we are going to do. So here is our cube guys, so after that we will use the line art, we will create another layer above our sketch, basically we don't need the sketch layer anymore after we do the line art. Now the line art the line art I use black line black color black line this nice box in black ball lines the third thing is the color blocking now basically I used to do the background at first so for the background we we'll let us select a solid color let it be red a nice strong red for the background and after that we'll use the Paint bucket tool and select the color, select the color of our box. So, this is called the color blocking process where we will use to put the black. So, this is the color blocking process. Now, third steps for our third step. Now for the next step, we will do the shading portion. We will use a clipping mask and we will select our colors that we are going to create. First we will select the front layer, the lighter brown shade and go select. color range then we'll select our next now we have deselected the black so we can do shading so we'll use a soft round brush again okay, this nice shading if 
perfect. This is the basic process like how we use this is the basic process like how we used to get in the shading lights the light and dark and after that we'll do blending for the blending we have to decrease the opacity and start picking color and just do the blending part we'll get a nice 3d effect here for this part too. Now you can deselect these parts. Now you make it this part darker as if there is depth and eventually some lighter tools here so that they are light. After that we will make a new layer and make the shadow of this box underneath. So that's it guys, this is the basic process of how you can do the art. First we'll go for the sketching, then we'll do the line art, after that we'll do the color blocking. Then where we have to put the shadows and the highlights, we'll work on that. After, after that the blending and then we'll work on the highlights and some special details and that's it and we'll achieve something that we wanna look at. Now this is done very quickly, this is very rough, don't judge me about this. So now I'll narrate over on the next painting which I'll show the correct process how I have done it from first to last. So let's enjoy the time lapse. I'll be giving a voice over in the tutorial as well. Let's enjoy the time lapse. So that's the most basic way how I can use those techniques to a art. So now we'll move on to a bigger painting and show you how I have used those techniques to draw this. But before that, consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials and several more tutorial videos are on its way. 2021 will be full of tutorial videos, I can assure you that. So let's move on to the bigger painting now. So as you can see, I started with the sketching of the painting. I drew in a girl and she's feeding the dog. This is the main story. Then I used a blue ink to make the line art. In this painting, I won't go with the line art. I'll paint over it at the end. Now I have done basic color blocking, like which color will go in where. So, skin tones, the hair, the dress, and everything. I have painted over using the basic color which I'll easily go through. Here I have painted the background but I was not pretty sure so I just painted it the basic idea afterwards I'll be removing it and painting in a other background now I have done shading this is the next step I have started shading and adding in the highlights wherever it's necessary still it's still rough pretty, pretty rough I haven't done the blending process till now I'm not going much into the details as you can see Eventually moving into the details, but if you get carried away by the details so quick then the picture won't come out to be that good and you will be using most of the time in one place of the painting only. After that I moved on with this background and now I started adding details. Eventually making my way to more deeper and deeper details like shadows, harsh shadows the lighting, the fur in the dog and 
finally adding some last details. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the digital art tutorial on how to achieve such artworks in my style. I usually use that style in almost every painting as I have told you before. So if you love the video, please like, share and subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss out any video. So till the next video, tata, bye bye.